Animals on the Farm by Colin Harris Animals on the Farm Contents Introduction Farms are for growing food. Some farms grow crops like these. Some farms bring up animals like these. But many more animals live on farms. Not all of them are welcome. Some of them are pests. How many animals can you see? This book will tell you more about some of them. The rabbit. Rabbits live in tunnels called burrows. Often, lots of rabbits live in one burrow. Every burrow has a chief. The chief is a big male rabbit. He gets the best bit of the burrow and all the best food. Chief rabbit, a rabbit burrow. The females dig the burrows. The males do not help them. The biggest females have the best nests in the burrow. Some females cannot nest in the burrow. They have to go out to build nests. They dig little tunnels called nest stops. Female rabbits have from three to seven baby rabbits called kittens. The kittens have a soft nest to sleep in. The rabbit kittens. The female does not stay with the kittens. She blocks up the exit so it is difficult to see. Then she comes back every night to give them milk. She does not stay long. Then she blocks the exit and goes off until the next night. At the end of about three weeks, the kittens come out to eat grass. In the daytime, rabbits stay in the burrow. They come out to eat at dusk. They must stay on the lookout because many animals hunt rabbits when they come out of the burrow. These animals hunt rabbits. This rabbit is on the lookout. If one rabbit spots something, it stamps with its back legs to tell all the rest. Then they all run to the burrow. When rabbits run, they zigzag, so they are very difficult to catch. Many of us like rabbits, and some of us have them as pets. But on farms, they are not pets. They eat the crops, so they are pests. Rabbits eat farm crops. The barn owl. These are barn owls, a male and a female barn owl. It is difficult to tell the male from the female, but the female barn owl often has black flecks on her chest. Which of these do you think is the female? The barn owl is a big bird. Its talons are this big. The barn owl's talons. The owl spends the day resting in the barn. It goes hunting as the sun sets. It catches little mammals and birds. Owls hunt these animals. The owl eats animals in one mouthful. Then, two times a day, it spits up a pellet. The pellet is full of bits of the animals it has eaten. A pellet is about this big. A pellet, skulls, the contents of a pellet. In spring, the female owl lays an egg every two days for about ten days. Barn owls do not build nests. The eggs rest on pellets. The eggs are about this big, barn owl eggs. The eggs hatch into chicks in about 30 days. The chicks do not grow very fast, so the adults spend a long time bringing them up. The adults must catch hundreds of animals for the chicks to eat. This is how fast barn owl chicks grow. One week, three weeks, six weeks, nine weeks. At the end of summer, the chicks fly off to look for somewhere to live. Winter is a difficult time for barn owls, as there is not much food for them to catch. Sometimes you will see them hunting in the daytime. The mole. A mole is about this big. Head, body, tail, hands. A mole. The mole has a long body which fits very well into the tunnels it lives in. Can you see its big flat hands? They are very good for digging. Can you see the mole's tail? 
Does it stick up or down? The mole in its tunnel. The mole eats, sleeps and lives in its underground tunnels. Moles are not like rabbits. There are not lots of moles living in one big burrow. The mole digs its tunnels just for itself. If a second mole comes in, the first one will attack it. Mole Hill Tunnel The Tunnels When moles dig, they push up mole hills, but they do not live in them. Fortress Nest The Fortress Sometimes a mole builds a big hill called a fortress, which it does live in. The tunnels are a trap for catching food. Animals drop into them. The tunnels trap hundreds of worms. The mole checks the tunnels three times a day. Moles eat lots of worms. If the mole traps too many worms to eat in one go, it collects them up. It nips off the worms' heads so they cannot creep off. Then, on days when it does not catch very much, the mole can go back and eat them. In spring, the female mole has three or four baby moles. Like many baby animals, they are pink, they cannot see, and they are helpless. The baby moles are about this big. The baby moles. In less than seven weeks, the little moles go off to look for somewhere to live. They travel on top of the land. Sometimes farm cats and barn owls see them and catch them. If nothing does catch them, moles live for about three years. The Cabbage White Butterfly The Cabbage White Butterfly is about this big. Antennae, head, eye, body, male, female. A male and a female Cabbage White Butterfly. How is the male different from the female? Look at the wings. The male does not have spots on the top of its wings. But if you look under the wing of a male, you will see that it has two spots there. Spots. The male cabbage white. The female butterfly lays her eggs in spring and summer. She looks for plants like these. The female butterfly lays her eggs on these plants. But she likes cabbages best of all. She lays about a hundred yellow eggs. She sticks them to the cabbage. Caterpillars coming out of the eggs. In about a week, the eggs hatch into caterpillars. At first, the caterpillars eat the eggshells they have just left. Then they eat the cabbage. The caterpillars eat a lot, and they eat fast. They can strip a full-grown cabbage down to a thin green skeleton. The caterpillar's eating a cabbage. The caterpillar eats for about four weeks. When it is full-grown, it is about this big, a full-grown caterpillar. Now the caterpillar stops eating. Its skin splits and drops off. The caterpillar is now a pupa, which looks like this. The pupa is this big. The pupa seen under a lens. In the pupa, a butterfly is growing. At the end of about three weeks, the pupa splits, so that the butterfly can come out. The adult butterfly comes out of the pupa. The cabbage white butterfly is not a pest, because it does not eat crops. But cabbage white caterpillars do eat crops, so they are pests. Things to do. Question 1. How often does the female rabbit visit her kittens? Question 2. Why do rabbits zigzag when they run? Question 3. Think of a plan to stop rabbits from eating crops. Draw your plan. Question 4. What is different about male and female barn owls? Question 5. How many eggs do barn owls lay? Question 6. How does the mole trap animals? Question 7. How many moles live in a tunnel? 
Question 8. What do moles do when they catch too many worms? Question 9. How can you tell a female from a male cabbage white butterfly? Question 10. Why do you think it is called the cabbage white butterfly? Question 11. Which is the pest, the butterfly or the caterpillar?